I've been epilating my legs for a long time. It's a perfect way to remove leg hair. Yeah, a lot of ladies that I speak to, they say they still shave their legs. And quite often the reason is they're worried about the pain of epilating and how it all works. So in this video, we'll talk about how to epilate your legs and how to do it without so much pain, especially if you're doing it for the first time. And I'll also tell you how uh, or rather why it gets less painful the more you do it. Let's get started. What I did, because I epilate my legs all the time, um, I've been growing my leg hair for two months just to make this video and then once I'd grown a lot of leg hair I shaved it about a week ago so now you can see all the hair on my legs. Um, now the reason I had to leave it for two months is because I, I usually epilate and so when you epilate you don't get every single hair follicle coming back all at once like you get with shaving. With shaving, every, as you can see, now I've waited two months, every single hair follicle has got a hair. When you epilate, that doesn't, it doesn't happen like that. Can you see the hairs? There we go, lovely crop of hairs. So essentially, because I've left it for two months and grown every single hair that I can possibly grow on my legs, I am gonna be epilating as if for the first time. Now, when you epilate the first ever time, that's the most painful it's ever gonna get. And as I say, that's because you've got a hair in every single follicle. The next time you epilate, you'll have less hair. And the next time you epilate after that, you'll have even less hair and so on. Hair has, um, a few weeks growth cycle so it doesn't all grow back at the same time like it does with shaving. As you can see I've got really chunky legs, I've also had my socks on so sorry about the lines. Uh, so my legs um, take a lot more epilating than your average leg and if I can do it you can do it. Nice varicose vein there as well, gorgeous! Right so I'll quickly show you my epilator and then we'll get started. I happen to have the Braun Silk Appeal. This is six or seven years old, about that. Before this one, I had a Philips one, which I actually think I preferred. Uh, my dog actually chewed it up, which was a shame. Thinking I'll try something else, I got the Braun one. It's okay. An epilator basically has on the head it's not a, a razor, it's not a shaver, so it doesn't just cut the hair off like a shaver does. What an epilator does is tweeze every single hair out. So when people say epilating is painful, yes it is. It's, it's the same kind of pain as tweezing every hair out of your leg. So we know when we, when we pluck hair, it's... It's a bearable pain and with epilation it's really worth it. Your legs are going to be hair free for so much longer. Like I said with shaving, and you all know this if you shave, within a day or two you've got that horrible stubbly regrowth. With epilation you don't get that, you get um, a little bit of regrowth here and there and it grows back soft. So the hardest thing about Epilating your legs is the first time you do it. Every hair follicle has a hair growing out of it. So this is why this is going to be painful because we're going to be plucking every single hair. Usually when you epilate you go about this kind of speed. Work your way slowly catching all the hairs. Now here's my little trick when you're epilating for the first time ever. We're actually going to move quicker. I'm going to move really quite quickly and only let it grab a few, a few, a few, a few hairs. That way I'm going to 
keep the pain to a minimum. I'm also not going to work on one area until it's completely done. I'm going to skim across an area and then move to another area and I'm going to avoid this bone down the middle of the leg until last because the bony bits are the, are the pain, most painful bits. These sidey bits, especially if you've got chunky legs like me, that, that's going to be easier. So here's the epilator turned on. You normally get two speeds. That's a medium speed and that's the high speed. If you're really worried about the pain, just go on the medium speed. Uh, work your way up to the high speed if you want to get the job done quicker. It's really not that painful. It's exactly like having hair plucked. You watch, okay. Medium. Honestly, this, this really isn't pain. It's just like a, a prickly feeling. Like prickles. So literally just carry on like that. I mean, really, this is not pain. This is just the feeling of having hair plucked. Oh, I forgot to say. You go up your leg, so against the grain of how the hair lies. So your hair lies down that way. That's why we're epilating up against the grain of the hair. Sometimes on the side of your leg, you might have hairs that are laying this way. I do anyway. Um, so, oh jeez, <laughs> like a diabetic. What is wrong with me? As you can see, the hair is sort of laying this way. So what we're gonna do is go against the grain of the hair. Just gonna have to take my word for it because my camera keeps going out of focus. All right, can you see any hairs on there? No. Oh heck. Okay, I think that's enough demonstration because I really can't get the angles here to show you. If I just hold really still. I might see all the hairs here that where well, I haven't done this side yet, but hopefully you can see. Ooh, one. Let's get him. There we go. Can you see that that's now completely smooth, no hair at all? And I hardly felt that. I mean, I'm used to it. I am used to it. Most you're going to feel is just 
like having little hairs plucked. So that's basically it. If your skin goes a little bit bobbly like mine is, I've got quite sensitive skin, what I would advise is I tend to just leave it and let it calm down. Um, I wouldn't put any moisturiser on um, for a few hours, let things settle down. At bedtime or maybe on, later on today, I will put some moisturiser on. Uh, but these, these little bumps, they will just go down um, over the next few hours naturally. What's nice about epilating is it doesn't make your legs all um, dry and nasty like shaving does. As I say as well, when this grows back, it will grow back little bits and bobs here and there. So you won't get an entire regrowth all in one session. You'll just get little bits and bobs that you can epilate off. So after you've done this once, you'll never have a full leg of hair ever again, unless you leave it. And it took me about two months to grow an entire leg of hair back. The other thing I wanted to quickly show you is you can epilate your toe hair. So I've been growing this for you. Gorgeous. And epilators, it's not shaving, it's not razors, it's not blades, so you can't cut yourself. So just go for it. Meow. <laughs> Give me your toes. Toes, if you like, look at that. No hair. Oh, hang on, what's that? Toes went black. I don't know what that is. Oh, God, I tell you what, I've got circulation problems. Look at me, I'm like an old, I'm like an old lady. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, Got hair free toes. <laughs> Do the other toes. <laughs> this is literally no effort at all. You, you can't cut yourself, you just you can run your epilate over anything you like. If there's not hair on it, it won't pick hair up. If there's hair on it, it'll grab it. Is that hair? Just the doings. There we go, hair free toes. In a minute, these legs will be hair free because I'm going to finish off what I started. Um, don't forget the back as well. Gorgeous. You can even, I don't ever shave um, the top of my legs, but you can do your knees if you want. So there we go, really not much pain at all. If I wasn't talking and mucking about at the same time, I would be able to do both my legs in less than five minutes, even starting from scratch. The results will last you basically forever. You just keep on top of any little patches of regrowth. It grows back soft, it grows back sparse. Uh, you don't get that horrible stubble that you get when you've shaved your legs and you don't get dry legs. You just get those little sort of, in fact, that's probably already gone down. It's start, already started to go down. Oh no, it's, there you go. You get these little, um, that's just where a little hair has come out of every single one of those follicles. That'll go down in a couple of hours. Just why would you shave your legs when epilators have been invented that's all really you can do your toes like we just did i've even epilated my bikini line but that will make your eyes water but you know why not okay i think that's everything i was gonna say any questions um just ask in the comments always happy to help so if you're a leg shaver, I hope this has made you consider having a go at epilating. I don't think you're going to regret it. That's all for now. See you all soon.